Four Stars. Happy Friday. Happy Badger Day. Woo, go Bucky. Yes, yes. Today's the day. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. Um, that's tonight. So everybody, go ahead and watch it. March Madness has started. It's a, it's a fun time of life. Don't you agree, Mr. Bauer? Yes. <laughs> anyway, today is also the deadline for ordering yearbooks by paying check or cash. Your parents can order online this weekend as well. We have to provide the yearbook a final order number in order for yearbooks to be printed, blah, 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 by the end of the year. If you have any questions, see Ms. Gargo in the office. All right. Hey, congratulations to Ms. Suda, this week's winner of the Shining Star Staff Star Award. Um, Ms. Suda was nominated by the students in Ms. East's first ever class. Uh, here's what some of them said about her. She's the best. She's very talented. Uh, she lights up every room she walks into. Uh, I love seeing her amazing smile every day. Uh, those things I think we've all at uh, North have seen with Ms. Suda every day. So um, thank you, Ms. Suda, for being such a positive role model for our staff and our students. Well-deserved, well-deserved. Congratulations, Ms. Suda, on your Shining Star Staff of the Week. You deserve it and more. She does definitely light up a room. That is she more is. sure. Congratulations also goes out to Manuel Govias. Uh, he finished in the top 10 of the preliminary uh, test for the Badger State Spelling Bee. So he's going to be competing as a finalist uh, in the competition on Saturday. Three of the top 10 will move on to the National Spelling Bee. Holy cow. Good luck, Emmanuel. We are all on the edge of our seats waiting to hear how you do this weekend. Go get it, buddy. Yes. That's awesome. That's so cool. So great. Yeah. So great. But we're, we are filled with awesome North Stars around here. Hey, oh, then the drawing for the next positive raffle, the last one was Candyman, the one before was, uh, or sorry, Candyland, the one before was uh, Among Us ma Masket. This one is spring break themed. So a bunch of things to do in spring break, like eat goldfish. Goldfish. Gum. Gum. Oh. oh. This game where you throw the ball back and forth and it sticks to your paddle. Frisbee. Arbors. Spring snacks. Now I gotta put this together. Mrs. Cargo's gonna be mad, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. So put your positive referral cards, your North Star Way cards, put them in here and you can win this awesome bucket that you can also use at the beach. Nothing says spring like a couple packs of goldfish. Sweet. Goldfish for any time of year, that's what I say. I think so, yeah. The kids eat them by the bucket. So um, I think my son has actually grown up because of goldfish. So, which probably isn't good. Yeah, look at that, maybe. All right, today's uh, Women's History Month the historical figure is Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, who lived between 1884 and 1962. Champion of human rights, uh, she strove to further women's causes as well as the causes of Black people, poor people, and the unemployed. Eleanor Roosevelt. Awesome. And our LMC reading recommendation is The Beloved World of Sonia Sotomayor. And she's a, Sonia is the first Latina and third woman appointed to the United States Supreme Court. She was a young girl and she dared to dream big. And going to the Supreme Court is big. This book is a fascinating memoir in which the inspire, an inspirational life of Sonia Sotomayor serves as a true testament to the fact that no matter the obstacles, dreams can come true. Awesome. All right, uh, North Stars sign up for the tennis team, which is open uh, to all sixth through eighth graders and the track team, which is open for seventh and eighth graders. There's gonna be a pre-season meeting on Thursday, March 25th, 2.45 to 3.15 p.m. Uh, register online prior to the meeting date. No registrations will be approved during spring break week. Uh, so March 29th through uh, April 2nd, uh, any of those that you submit will be um, approved after spring break. So practice for both sports on Tuesday, April 6th. And uh, Ms. Gearn and I um, will be out on the tennis courts um, playing against each other, both avid tennis players. So it'll be an epic match. Mm -hmm. It'll be epic. With five So yes, sign up. Sign up, get involved. It's a good thing. Unbeaten. 
Today's ACT vocabulary word of the day is throng, which is defined as a large group of people gathered closely together. People. It's been over a year since I've seen a throng of students gathered in the gymnasium for an assembly. Yeah, it has. Throng. throng. I was going to try to say there's a throng of sunlight in my eye, but that doesn't really work with the words. Mm -hmm. so. All right, friends, please prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, North Stars, have a fantabulous Friday. Have a great weekend. Here's yours and go basketball teams. Go Badgers! Yay!